My name's Ryan, and I'm four years old. And what's your science question? Um, how do fire flies glow up? My name is PJ Leash. I'm the director of the UW Madison Insect Diagnostic Lab, and I run a, a state lab that basically helps folks identify insects. So fireflies, sometimes also called lightning bugs, are actually a type of beetle. So they're not a true fly, they're not a true bug. Um, they're a type of beetle, although they have very soft, kind of leathery, protective wing covers um, from a group we call the family Lampyridae. In Wisconsin, the Great Lakes area, we have about two dozen or more different species, and they all have slightly different habits in terms of when and where they flash and if they can flash. Um, but their life cycle typically lasts a year or two, and the larvae tend to live in damp areas where they're predators of slugs and snails and soft-bodied creatures. Fireflies have a particular chemical called luciferin, and that chemical interacts with an enzyme called luciferase, and in the presence of certain other compounds and chemical elements, magnesium ions and ATP, it produces this glowing light. Main reason is for mating purposes. Um, they also can light up under other situations as a warning to others, um, but the main reason is for mating purposes, and typically how it works is you have male fireflies flying around, and they are advertising to the females, and after they have flashed, if a female's interested, they often will um, send out a brief flash as a reply to those males. It's really interesting because if you compare it to something like an incandescent light bulb, which is really inefficient, you get uh, a little bit of energy as light and a lot lost as heat. Um, with fireflies, it's very, very efficient uh, in terms of that light production. Very little is lost as heat in the process of this bioluminescence. It is very cool. It, won't be picked up on infrared cameras, for example, um, just because very, very little of that energy is lost as heat. Most of it goes into the production of light with that chemical reaction. I guess in general, when it comes to catching fireflies, I think it's a neat experience for kids. I remember as a kid catching a lot of them myself. In general, I would go with the catch and release. Catch them in a jar, observe them for a few hours or maybe a, a day tops and release them the next morning. Uh, in the same area that you find them in so that they can go and do their thing. 